In 2005, there was a very popular theory that Dumbledore is not really dead. Dumbledore is so calm in the astronomy tower and wants Harry out of the way because he orchestrated the whole thing. Bellatrix tells Harry that you have to really mean an unforgivable curse. If Snape was actually working under Dumbledore's orders and didn't really want to kill him, Avada Kedavra would not have worked effectively. He could have said Avada Kedavra, but actually cast Expelliarmus non-verbally. The spell lifted Dumbledore in the air, which usually happens with Expelliarmus, but not with the killing curse. I mean, what's interesting about this is that, like, it had all the pieces of, like, that there was something weird going on because of the astronomy tower, and, like, it had all the stuff of how that didn't add up and how Dumbledore orchestrated his death. Um, like, it was right on that, but came to the wrong conclusion about why he did that. So it's interesting. This was, this, this kind of came true in the sense that, like, they knew where they were supposed to look, but I've, I don't think anyone got the full depth of that. I mean, I guess the bit with the spells and how, like, you have to actually mean it, because Snake was the one that did it, so... He would have had to mean it in some sense, but yeah, I guess that sort of is a little bit convincing, but at the same time, he knew he had to do it, so he probably did mean it. I mean, it's pretty convincing. Like, I would, if I was waiting to see, like, confirmation of Dumbledore being dead, like, I would have given that even 50-50 odds that he was really alive, so. Like, all of the detail, like, the case for it, like, him actually doing Expelliarmus and Fox healing Dumbledore after falling from the tower, that seems a little, that's, that, that would be a lot of healing to do. <laughs> but just the idea of it, I like can get behind, I think. I mean, I guess like the mechanics of, so is he an Animagus? Is that the idea? He turned into a phoenix? Or like he just has some, uh, the mechanics of this, I guess, don't necessarily make sense. Um, but I guess people were expecting that to be explained in Hallows, so. It, I would not have been surprised if that was, I think. And I don't think, I think a lot of people No, not personally. I think Dumbledore's death is pretty poignant, and it does set up this weird sort of like train station scene in the last book, which I think is great. So, um, you know, unless he really was alive and was dragging Harry and just dragging him to weird stations in foggy, white foggy lit up areas, I wouldn't put it past him, but it could be. No, because it would have meant that we, we lost what actually ended up happening with Dumbledore, which I really liked. Um, so no, but again, like, I, I, could, I think this is cool, like, I definitely could have seen it coming true. I understand why people thought this, 